15 representatives of the United Nations Security Council are visiting Colombia to support efforts to implement a peace agreement. This has been an opportunity to receive Colombia's commitment for peace and to reiterate the National Security Council's unity in respect to Colombia's peace process, which continues to be an example for Latin America and all of the international community. In 2016, a peace accord was signed to end 50 years of armed conflict with the leftist guerrilla group known as FARC. While the agreement was considered a huge win by the international community, it's been difficult to implement. On Friday, the delegation from the UN Security Council held a private meeting with the Colombian president, Ivan Duque. The president requested the UN Monitoring Commission remain in the country another year. The group also met with FARC members and government agencies dedicated to the implementation of the peace accord. One peace expert says peace efforts need support now more than ever from the international community. There is a very substantial uh, evolution, very positive evolution in terms of disarmament and reintegration of the, par of the FARC, conversion into a political party, but everything which has to do with structural elements of the conflict, the root causes of the conflict, as rural reform, political participation, um, drug trade, has faced enormous obstacles. On Thursday, FARC Party Senator Carlos Antonio Lozada asked the Colombian prosecutor's office to investigate an alleged plan to kill FARC Party leaders. The FARC claims more than 140 former combatants have been killed since the signing of the accord. The United Nations peace observers have verified most of them. In the peace agreement, what we agreed to is that we lay down our arms because the state was able to guarantee the lives of all Colombians, including those who signed the peace agreement. And that is what we are asking, that the state fulfill that constitutional obligation. The United Nations Secretary General has urged Colombia and others to work together toward peace. He added the challenges in Colombia are too great for the country to remain divided. Michelle Vegas, CGTN, Bogota.